everybody. So we got a package in the mail from Patreon supporters. Yes, I also do go to work and make some money there. But I want to thank everybody who is supported on Patreon because this could not be possible without y'all because I would not want to spend a bunch of my money on a bunch of running shorts. I will say this is probably one of the best gifts to get a runner for their birthday or a Christmas gift or just a gift to give just because you want to give a gift. This is a thing that you definitely want to give a runner. So these are boa shorts. These aren't Nike. These aren't Hoka. These aren't Adidas. These are boa split shorts. Right now I have Nike split shorts on but I normally go with boa. Right now I have the pizza and I also have the sushis. Matthew has the pink ones and he also has the billy goats. But I want to open this with y'all because yes this is from Patreon supporters but also I do go to work and make money there so yes it is. Probably this is from going to work and making money but I wouldn't have the confidence to buy this if I didn't have Patreon supporters so thank you to all the four Patreon supporters that are supporting the channel through Patreon right now. If I have more by time this video is aired or whatever thank you so much to the future Patreon supporters and the link is in the description down below if you really do want to help support the channel directly but this is probably one of the best runner gifts besides like a singlet that I have on the wall right in the hair or a runner vest or even some hoka slides or a recovery shoe also maybe any running shoe this is a paper mache running shoe as you can tell it's not a real running shoe but this is a paper mache running shoe you can also maybe get them a supplement thing or you can also maybe get them a protein bar this is a quest part not the best quest bar the best quest bar is definitely a quest hero bar the crispy cookies and cream hero bar is the best quest bar out there you can also maybe even get them a cliff bar yeah uh, cliff bar is a very good thing uh white chocolate cranberry is probably one of the best cliff bars out there you can also maybe even get them a water bottle to carry along with them on their runs but that is just maybe a few things or even a phone roller massage gun but those are definitely more on the expensive side these are definitely on the cheaper side little side note i already did open this because i was too excited but i had to just show y'all me acting like i'm at the door already getting the package for the video but i did already open this as you can tell this is already open i just retaped it to act like i didn't open it yet but i did i already know there's a bunch of shorts in here i did order two more from boa.com and i thought about getting even some hoka ones and also a hoka um, I mean a, a boa uh, jersey like a bib jersey and also I did open this so <laughs> I already know what's in here and I was literally recovering in the hot tub and I got up because I was checking my emails and I saw that this was shipped at like 254 and I was like oh it already shipped why didn't I see this at the door when I came home from work so I was like I rushed out the hot bath then I got this out and then I opened it to see what was in and then I went back in the hot tub then got out taped it back up and it's like I'm gonna film a vlog about this. So, the best gift for a runner. So then, uh, this was such an unplanned vlog, but I did end up getting this out because I was like, I want to create a vlog about this. And so I retaped it and yeah, so we're gonna open this up and just see like truly what's in it, even though I know what's in it. So, the first pair I got was the Boa Alpacas. I got the green Boa Alpacas. So, the green boa, I've been wanting to actually try the alpacas out, but I also wanted to have been trying the sore short. You know, Seth James Moore, when he runs Pikes Peaks or any races, he has sore split shorts, which are very lightweight, and that's probably why they're so expensive. They're $150, but the thing about sore shorts, they're lightweight, and so they're faster. They're probably made with better material. That's why they're $150. They're, I think, a company based out of UK, and I think it's just so lightweight, good material, and that is why it's $150. But those are good material. So I got the extra small. I might actually just return these. Get all of the same color. But size it up to a small. If these do not fit me correctly. So if they don't fit me correctly. I'm going to return them. Get all of the same shorts I have in this box. That I'm about to show y'all. And size them up to a small. Because uh, they might be a little too tight. But who knows. Uh, but these literally have pockets to store your gels in. And any nutrition you want. So that's why I really got them. Was to when I started running. I wanted the black ones, but I also wanted these colors, so I got them. And so now I want to show y'all what I have in this package, which is 
red boa shorts. And so these ones I got, oh wow, they're are, yeah, these are the red ones. I was about to say, they look way much shorter than I thought. But these are the red ones, and they're kind of like Matthew's pink ones, but they're just the red ones. And so they're just the plain red ones. Not too special about those. They don't have any nutrition packages. They're just split shorts. These ones, I really wanted. I saw them, and I was like, I need these. These, these look special. So question of the day is, what do you think this one is? Comment down below, and let's see. Three and three, two, one. And this one is the soft split short. I really wanted the soft split short for some reason. They just was like, I really wanted them. So I got them, but the next one I got was just plain black ones. So that's like, I just wanted plain black ones. So I got plain black ones because I was like, I want plain black ones. So I got plain back black ones, which seemed very nice. Uh, same thing as the red ones, basically just the color black. And then I got a neon orange. I look like a traffic cone with these, but this is also another one I wanted. And then for the last pair is the green ones. The green, it's just the same thing as the orange, but they're, they're bright green. Uh, so they're they're kind of like Matthew's pink ones. So I got the bright green, the bright orange, then I got the blacks, then I got the sloth, then I got the red, then I got the these, and then I got two more from actually boa.com. But this is like what a runner wants. Just running apparel, gear, and everything like that. So if you are a runner, try getting some boa split shorts. We all love boa. And so I can't wait to get these. And so I am actually going to now go get my phone for the com no, yeah, for the comment of the day. And then we can close out this vlog. I know it was very short, but it's all right. Back, but without my phone. I, for some reason, cannot find my phone. It's not making the noise I want, but that is one thing I like about Garmin. That is another gift you might want to consider to get a runner is a Garmin because literally I'm trying to find my phone and for some reason it's not making the noise I want it to make but it does normally make a noise and I can find my phone which has the comment of the day on it so I gotta find the phone so I just scrolled through all the comments trying to find a comment of the day and the comment of the day will go to site Curious. I don't know quite how to say that correctly. And so, but anyways, you get the comment of the day. And it, the comment is, this is the first time I've been April fooled on April 23rd. That just kind of made me laugh. And I was like, I need to give this comment a comment of the day because it was just too funny to not. And so the funny thing is, or it's not that funny. It's just the thing is, so we film in advance. So this vlog might not be posted until like three, four, five weeks from now, just because the way we film, the way we edit. And so this kind of helps us find balance in our life, not to be so stressed editing. And so when I, when Matthew's filming, he films on his camera and then he'll send it off to me. I'll basically do the touches on it, the cutaways, everything like that. And so what happens is we film in advance, two, three, sometimes even four weeks, and maybe even hitting that five weeks sometimes. We film in advance so we don't have to get super stressed out of trying to film and edit basically in the same week because we don't want to do that. And it also helps us find balance in case we go on vacation or something like that. We go out of town for a few days. We don't want to be stressed out filming and editing on that vacation. And so we will edit and film basically in advance. And so we would film and then about like three weeks later, the video would come out because we do not want that stress. We do not want that super like stressed out thing that we were like, oh my God, we got to film this and then we got to edit it the next day for it to be out the next day. We don't want to go through that stress. And then we have a bunch of ideas on our mind and then the doctor's appointments that are happening and everything like that. And just the way we want to vlog and the story we, we want to tell that day. Well, we will actually film that day so we can tell the story and have it out for y'all on that day and vlog for that day so we can actually have a vlog telling that story on that day and plus so it can avoid stress so that's exactly why we do that we film in advance so we can prevent the stress and we can actually find balance and so we can actually tell the story of what's happened on that day if we want to film not every day we film of course if we did well we would probably pump out a lot more vlogs but if we feel like filming that day we will film so it kind of helps us feel like if we feel like filming we'll film if we don't we don't because it can allow us to pump out better vlogs if we film every single day, we won't really want to film. I won't have the same energy. I won't want to film at all. So that is essentially why we do that. But I wanted to give that a comment of the day because that was just too funny. The April Fool's joke was basically 
Matthew was acting like he was going to on a run. I kind of wish he was. I kind of wish I was because running is just amazing. And I want to get that drive. I want to pump my arms again. I want to feel the rhythm on my feet. I want to just feel that again. I also just also want to cycle. I did cycle at the beach, but I really just want to feel that momentum again. Feel that burn of running and that heart rate drive and just cycling in general because I just want to feel that. I want to feel the effort. I want to feel the burn. I want to start training for a race and overall just feel the drive again and everything like that. So I wish he was running and I wish it was not an April Fool's joke, but he acted like he was going on a run. So the things he does for YouTube, the things I do for YouTube, but it wasn't actually a thing. He was not actually going for a run. But anyways, thank you for watching today's vlog and you can help support the channel on on Patreon. And yeah, anyways, make sure you seek happiness, achieve goals and find glory. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.